Hey everyone, um, I'd just like to go over um, setting up your character ready to animate for your first pass of animation. And we are using the pose to pose method. Okay, um, so basically we need to create those key poses um, adhering to the 12 principles of animation, especially regarding uh, principles like silhouette, appeal, okay, um, at this early stage. So here I have this character. Okay, now what we need to do first is one, um, make sure that we are animating to 24 frames per second. Down here on the right hand side, lower, it says 25. If I change that to 24, and if you don't see 24 FPS here, go into the actual uh, preferences here in your settings and you'll be able to change it in there as well. Um, for now, what I'm gonna do is uh, just move into creating a character set. So make sure you're in say, um, rigging menu. I believe you could do it in the animation menu as well. I'll do it in the rigging menu because I can see control up here. So what we need to do is we're gonna create these sets of controls that this way um, we need to key all of the controls okay um, especially in our first pass of animation this way well after we set a key pose you don't just key like the wrist or the feet individually you can key them all at once and you don't want to go through here and selecting them all like shift select and then hit s on the keyboard to key no we use a, a, a selection set or a character set you could also create a selection set as I said here select you can create selection set quick select selection sets etc but we're going to go with a character set so how do we do that well to make it easier for ourselves one we have this character's uh, main mesh on a um, display layer here and I can turn it visualize on and off here so it's hidden okay all right so I've also put the face controls into a layer in the display. I just simply selected all the face controls over here and face group, there they are. And I put them into a layer, a display layer by clicking this button on the far right. Right, so for now, I do not want to key all of the facial controls, just the main controls. So I'll turn that off. Okay, and I'm also going to hide the geometry because I only want to select the controls. So I'll turn that off. Okay, now we've got the main controls. So I should be able to, let's test this. I'll select all of them, marquee select. Got all those controls. I should be able to go control, create character set. And options. And in here, I'll call this one Bubba. I'll just call him Bubba. Bubba main, okay, um, and I'll leave all these to, to, to default, and I'll go create character set. Now you'll notice in the bottom here, the little red arrow, drop down arrow, it's got Bubba main, which means now if I hit S on the keyboard on anywhere along the timeline, whenever I hit S, it's going to automatically uh, create a keyframe. Okay, now we can also create what are called um, sub character sets. So, for example, I'll just turn this on so as we can see again. Sorry, that one off, this one on. So, let's say, for example, I only want to key the, the feet or maybe just the wrists or all of the fingers. Okay, so I could now come through here and select maybe just the let's grab the I will grab the wrist control just to attack it there's my wrist okay and with this character right now I'm in FK mode because look see I can move that I can uh, there should be a control here this one here if I want to change to um, IK FK IK blend now it's IK is there okay? Let's say I wanted just the IK controls. So I'll turn those on on both of them. Turn it on here and here. There they are. So I'll grab this one, this one, this foot IK, and the left foot IK. 
let's create a sub character set just for them okay um, and I'll select the head control why not okay so let's go we go control create character set no we go create sub character set option this one I'll call it um, I don't have to even call it bubble I'm just going to call it for now um, IK set okay you can call it whatever has value and mean a meaning to you okay I'll call it that for now so now down here I can swap between Bubba main and Bubba IK set so I'll go back to Bubba main and now I'm studying over I'll be looking over my reference videos my reference images and I start to consider my first pose in which I need to position my character right now he's in a very symmetrical pose the left is the same as the right okay you really want to avoid symmetry so it's time to start to pose your character and you want to start thinking in terms of appeal what is an appealing pose etc and this is where you start to take time and place your character into a, a pose your first pose you'll move elbow control etc you may even move the fingers up into position rotate try and avoid um, penetration like right here that thumb is right now penetrating through the pants you really want to be avoiding all of that okay so take your time in posing and it does take time um, you can even move them out a little bit so just for the purpose of this exercise I'll say that this is quite a nice pose all right um, maybe I'd offset them slightly you really want to position the hips etc first because look now I got to rearrange those um, the hand a little bit okay I'll just bring this hand down maybe I'll flip this around a bit and remember you can be going into your um, the rotate mode you can double click these tools remember and I can change from object to world you may need to change that occasionally okay so I'm gonna say the fingers I can click the finger control and I can actually curl them all at once look at that so that can be helpful as well I'll do the same on this one see and I'm about ready to create my key pose but this is too linear or oh, the hat okay that's the hat control what's this one there's the head a little bit of a tilt can help okay all right that's my first pose I'll just hit s all right and sorry in here I'll hit s in my thing here and there we go it's created a keyframe on frame one now I could go to my next frame and by the way in your first pass of animation don't worry too much about the uh, the timing because you can adjust these key poses you know when you move into the second pass of animation which is your uh, in-betweens all right so I'm going to set these I'll go to say every fifth frame so now maybe my character was doing a wave so I'll bring the hand up it's just to show you that it is in fact working maybe it was like this W bring them up a bit more maybe I'd bring that um, elbow control in a little bit okay so he's getting ready to wave at whatever it is he might be looking at maybe the head might turn not the hat the, the head might turn a little bit okay and look up a little bit something like that and he might even shift his weight over slightly to the right uh, which probably this one there we go that one remember consider the weight of your character if your character is going to move left or right or whatever you want to counter that so shifting weight is very important weight shift balance okay 
All right, I'm in a good position now to hit S on my keyboard and I have a second key pose. There's my first key pose. Here's my second key pose. Okay, and then I'd carry on through animating my character. And if you wish to see this, you can change from workspace to animation and you should be able to view it all. There it is in your um, graph editor. And when we move into the graph editor, um, you should see your key poses all in these vertical lines. You'll see all the keys, just like what we've seen here. Okay, and this is going to help manage the graph editor for you so you can actually get a better indication of where your key poses are. Okay, I hope that helps and uh, happy animating. Make sure you upload your final um, first pass animation to SyncSketch.com for review and make sure you set your project to public in SyncSketch so as I can in fact view it and um, yeah. Okay guys, thanks for watching.